Hey guys, so here I'm going to go over a great upper body intensive activity that you can use to get some alternating movement in a workout, and that's the Renegade Row. Now, I love these things, and I'm going to go over the way in which they're commonly done and a few modifications that I'm going to recommend you trying out. So, Renegade Row, typically done with an individual kind of held in plank, everything all locked up. Back and forth. Awesome. Can get super hard depending on how much weight you use and how much your body weight is. Don't stop doing it that way, but here's a modification that might give you a little bit bang for more bang for your buck. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get closer to a wall. And you're gonna make sure that your heels are pressed into the wall. Now it takes a little bit of plan to figure out how far away your toes gotta to be so that your heels wedge into the wall. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna give you a little bit of stabilization, a little bit of grounding through your lower half. And because your knees are a little bent, it's gonna be easier for you to maintain a hollow position. When we are upright, and a load is going through us, we gotta make sure that our feet are flat. That way our reactions north are what we need them to be. When we are inverted, rules change. It's a different situation. And instead the priority in this position is gonna be maintaining some sort of hollow, some sort of sense of tone in your front, in your abdomen. You don't need a brace, you just gotta push away from the ground until you feel something in the front working. So you find your sweet distance, lots of weight going through the arms, knees are bent, pushed to the sky through your rib cage, tail is a little tucked, and you're gonna Now, you'll notice that my knees and hips can shift when I do this. And that's a great thing. When you have your legs out straight in the more traditionally done renegade row, that's fine. Not a lot of things are shifting. And for some of you, you've got a lot of rigidity already in your torso. You could use a little bit of moving back and forth. And so taking this modification where knees are bent, heels are wedged in, and you're able to shift the weight through your pelvis, through your hips. You're still getting a great upper body workout, but you're incorporating this back and forth shift is actually a pretty big deal. Now, a problem can come in if you're trying to do this kind of movement in a group setting and you only have so many dumbbells and a lot of people need around a similar sort of weight. So what you can do is simply divide the weights in half and have people post with an arm and back and forth. That also allows the person to bring the arm a little bit closer to their midline and in doing so, they're gonna get a little bit more of this shift back and forth at their torso as they're pulling it up. Big important thing when you're doing any sort of row, especially a renegade row, is to focus on the post. Focus more on the pushing, posting arm. The rowing arm is gonna take care of itself. If you forget about this sucker, then winging collapse is gonna happen. It's gonna go into your neck, it's gonna go into your back. Instead, be sure to push heels into the wall, push away from the ground until you feel something in your middle, and focus on the posting hand that's staying down. Try those on out. Let me know how they go. Ask any questions if you got them. I hope that helps.